What it do, YouTube? It's back again with another one. It's your boy, Funny Marco. Monday morning prank call. So look, right now I'm gonna switch it up. I wanna start helping people promote their brand. So I had made a post a couple days ago where I told people tag your brand. So now I want to put the spotlight on them. So I'm gonna do prank calls on their brand. Make sure they say Instagram. Make sure they say whatever they do on a clothing company. I got people to do stand up clubs. And also I'm gonna put their Instagram as I'm prank calling them. So this is gonna be different, you know what I'm saying? So I wanna start helping y'all. I want y'all to grow, you know what I'm saying? Cause y'all help me grow. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and comment your businesses below or your cousin business or anybody. Let's prank call them. Let's get right into it. The first one I got is a stand up comedian, Jordan Jefferson. Ah, is it Jefferson? Jordan, uh, damn. But I don't know, man. I'm about to tell this guy I'm about to book him for a show, but it's a deaf show. So, you know what I'm saying? Let's see how we act. And we got some clubs lined up. So let me call Jordan first. And let's get right into it. Hello. Hello, how you doing? Am I speak to Jordan? Uh, this is Jordan. Hold on one moment, sir. Uh, this is Chris from the uh, staffing company. We book people from LA, from Atlanta to do stand-up shows. And we came across your page. And, you know, we find you very hilarious. And we see that you do stand-up. Yeah, you have, you know, you've been on tour with a lot of good names. and. Could you tell us who all you've been on tour with? I'm um, up to with uh, Country Wayne, Lamar Walker, uh, uh, Marcus Holmes, uh, Ronnie Jordan. You know, a lot of uh, uh, live comedians here in Atlanta right. and beyond. You know what I'm saying? Right. And could you, and if you can make us down, I also have you on speakerphone. I have my team around. If you can say your Instagram and also spell it out so, you know, we can just... Uh -huh. Okay, so who is Jordan Jackson? W-H-O-I-S-J-O-R-D-A-N-J-A-C-K-S-O-E. Uh, who is Jordan Jackson? On okay, so steps. who is Jordan Jackson? If you can break that down to us. Oh, it's real easy. I'm the um, funniest comedian in the world that you don't know yet. That's why it's who is Jordan Jackson. One day it's going to be I am Jordan Jackson. Okay, and how old are you? Um, 31. And how long do you think that should take? Because if with you being 30, like how many more years do you have in you? Oh man, that's the great thing about uh, comedy. You know what I'm saying? Shoot, you, you can go to the, until you go to the grave. You know, it's, it's the only, it's the only art you can do. Okay, okay, so if you could, one thing, um, and it's up in the air, we have it on a projector. Uh, do you have a moment, could we FaceTime you? Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. One moment. Okay. Uh, could you set the phone up? One moment. We have our team. My team is around. We have you on a computer. Mm -hmm. and, and give us, like, what's your stand when you hold the mic? Can you show us? Yeah, usually have the mic like this here. Okay, so if you could, can you rock back and forth? Rock back and forth? Yeah. Like that? All right, and then put okay. move move the mic up and down slowly. Up and down, man. What the hell? No, no, no. This, no, no. This is us, and this we're in the office right now. We're you're on the computer screen. This is the remote. We had, and then I told you this is a big thing. This is corporate company. We didn't work from Haha Davis. We got him booked. Uh, did you hear about the show in Houston where Dave Chappelle came out? Yeah. Yeah. Like but we booked all that. Excuse me. But I'm I'm trying to understand how this is. I I understand why I'm holding a microphone, uh, imaginary microphone, and rocking back and forth. I mean, I'm confused on what that got to do with uh, um, you guys booking here or not. Excuse me. Why am I holding an imaginary microphone, sir? That's I'm, I'm okay. That's that's perfect. Perfect. Is that is that one of your stand up jokes? The one you said. Why am I holding an imaginary? Is that that's one of your jokes? We love it. No, <laughs> sir. You 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 have me holding. <laughs> can I drop the imaginary microphone? Yeah, yeah. You can drop it. Okay. So basically, okay, cool. So basically, we're gonna we want you to perform. We have uh, a deaf audience. And we want you to perform. Excuse me. Deaf jam. You said for deaf jam. No, no, a deaf audience. What 
the hell you mean a deaf audience? I'm, I'm confused. It, is this a stand-up show that you want me to do? Oh, okay, so 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 basically, what it is is, it's it, we saw we have you on a on a, on, a, on a big screen TV again. We we want you to st like basically you touch the audience. This is something new because if you're deaf, we feel deaf people should hear you. Correct? Do you know sign language? No, sir, I don't know a sign language. I'm just a stand-up comedian. I, and, I and where are you at right now? Are you on tour? Are you on tour right now? Correct? Yes. Okay, and that's what we were told. Okay. So like, what's what's something sexual about you? If you like, what's sexual? What makes you different? What makes me different is the fact that uh, my jokes are original. I don't, I don't, I don't go for all that gimmicky bullcrap. I just talk about the stuff that's in my life. Okay, and we have Brad. Brad just stepped into the office. Uh, Brad. Uh, How you doing? No, yeah, no, he's over there. Brad. Okay, and you could just ask him kind of like his stand-up background if you could ask him. Um, are you are you comfortable with a homosexual crowd? Yeah, I'm not homophobic at all. That that that, that doesn't bother me. Oh, it, oh. It, you know, that's like everybody else laughs. I mean, that, okay, okay. So like basically, person, okay, basically, like I said, it's me and my guys, and we can get like in this audition. It's just with us if you can perform. And boxer briefs, and it's me, and it's it's five of us. And, and once you perform in the boxer briefs with just us, we can kind of like get a little bit more information. It'll just be Man. better. It'll be a better understanding for how you are with the crowd. You know, if Correct. you're comfortable in briefs. You're comfortable. What the hell? Whoa, 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 man! What the hell are y'all talking about, bro? No one does stand up in the goddamn boxers. Yeah, yeah, no, no. This is a private like, event. It's a private hell? event. A private event for us to get you. Oh, to no. I'm good. I ain't doing a private event. Too. Okay. I mean, all right. Thank you, then. Uh, I got a club that I'm about to call, Area 4. And like I said, I'm going through the list. Some of these people, I saw I couldn't put my face in it. I'm familiar with some of these people. And hold on. We got some. Hold on. We got Area 4. Located in Atlanta, a club. Area 4 restaurant. Hello. Yeah, Hello. Yes, area for a restaurant. How you doing? This is okay. So this weekend, this is my name is Brandon. So this weekend, me and my friend were down there at the club, and the music. So basically, okay. So we found your Instagram, and it's connected to your number, which we gave you a call, right? Correct. So me and my friend, we were there at the restaurant, and we were enjoying it. It was a blast. We enjoyed the restaurant, but one thing that we did. Like just tell me what really happened. I know what what really what really happened was your music was way too loud, and we asked the owner, uh, I don't know his name, but we asked him to turn the music down just a tad bit. And now her eardrums are busted, and she's in the hospital, and the hospital bill is is pretty expensive. So we just want to talk to you if we can do anything with cash. We don't want to take it too far. Uh, explain to me what he's trying to get me to do again. Okay, so who what, who are you? Um, I'm acting in position of someone. So how can I help you? Okay, who are you again? Because I feel like you're gonna attitude with me because we're dealing with a problem. So explain where your where your friend was positioned in the restaurant. The front of the restaurant. He sounds like the police. <laughs> oh, so she was the young lady with the skirt on that wanted to twerk by the speakers. No, we were not by a speaker. It wasn't no and we were there Friday. Yes, and I, I do remember this young lady. She actually was standing on stuff and talking by the speaker. He's lying. And you said she couldn't hear? No, 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 no. It's not a young lady. It was a young man. I mean, it's me and my friend. I'm a young man. Oh, oh I'm sorry if I got you guys confused. I'm not I'm not transphobic. I never but, said you um, was. I'm just letting you know. I'm, I'm not. I don't want you guys to put the big letters on me. Who are you guys? Uh, no one in particular. How, how, how can I help you guys again? So one thing, if you can cash up us fifteen hundred dollars to take care of the hospital bill, it'll be great. Fifteen hundred dollars what? For the hospital bill, because you guys, he's on the phone. You hear him? Yes. The call is getting recorded. You guys had completely 
played the well, Megan Thee Stallion song. At the college we recorded, I am not at liberty or by legal use. Could I you call? Could liberty. you call another manager on the phone? One of the on on three way, please. Um, we don't do three ways. It's, 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 no, it's could you call, listen? Could you call another manager on the phone on three way? Anybody? Ways, three ways sound too sexual. I don't. Okay, know. can you call a manager, another manager on the phone, three way? Anyone else on the phone, please? What hospital were you transferred to? Can you please call another person on the phone so we can get please? I'm trying to help you as much as I can, possibly. Fifteen hundred dollars is not a small, it's not a large. Fee. And what do you look like I again? Want, uh, I look like a young person. I just want to know. Uh, okay, when I come up to the club, uh, and when when are you guys open again? We're, we're open. We're, we're we're probably gonna be closed today due to. Uh, okay, when I come up there, what what do you look like? What's your image? I look like a young Tupac mixed with Biggie. He's bullshit. He's full of Hello. So listen, this is very serious. Cause when I see you, I will slap the shit out of you. That's one thing I will do. I I, I would hate you for you to pull out your slapper for no reason. Fucking dickhead. <laughs>